Okay, this is my scratch built automatic tool changer for my Denford Easy Mill 3. I'm going to take you through and show you the things first and then we're going to run it. Um, so up here, this is the power drawbar assembly. Uh, there's a switch so it can tell when the drawbar has moved far enough to disengage the, the tool from the spindle. This cylinder is going to um, extend and retract the entire assembly. You can see there's reed switches here and they have LED feedback so you can see that this piston is at the top of its travel. The bulk of the changer is under that cover. If you look at my previous videos, you can see this machine with the cover off so you can see exactly what's going on. Here's the turret itself. It holds 12 tools. I haven't built a, a safety cover for that. I will, um, but it's not there yet. On this side, you can see a couple of things. This is the um, spindle orient assembly. What it does to orient the spindle for a tool change is it throws out a roller that rides in a track on the um, spindle sheave and it powers the spindle motor forward at 200 RPM and when it drops into the notch it activates a switch which cuts off power to the motor and then that air cylinder is going to hold it in position so that it's oriented the correct way. Um, one of those pulleys is a commercial one. The big guy up there is one that I built. Okay now Mach 3 has just booted. I haven't done anything with it yet so I'm going to start by uh, referencing the axes, so it's just going to home itself. Okay, it's homed. And then the only other thing I have to do is, by default, Mach comes up uh, with tool zero, is the loaded tool. And I just need to look at the carousel, and I can see that tool five is what's in the spindle. So I'm just going to enter five, so it knows where it's starting from. Now the macro that I wrote for this thing does do some error capturing, so if I tell it to change to a tool and it's on tool zero, it'll actually fail and come out and say it needs to know its initial position. At the same time, if I command a tool change to a tool that's already in there, then it'll just exit and it knows that nothing is necessary. So we're going to go through and run it through a tool change and see what happens. So on the manual screen, uh, I'm on tool five now. I'm going to I'm going to go from tool five to tool four. So command is M6 for a tool change tool four. Okay, now when I run this one, you're going to hear a couple of things. First, it's going to kick on the spindle motor. It's going to throw out the uh, orient assembly. So you're going, to, you're going to hear it spin, you're going to hear some clunking, and then when it drops in, everything else is going to happen. The changes that happen after that, it's not going to do that step because since it's already oriented itself, um, as soon as it throws out that cylinder, it'll detect that it's in the home position. It's not even going to try turning the uh, spindle motor. So you're going to hear some extra stuff going on this first time. Here we go. Now you'll notice that the um, the carousel actually spun in the uh, counterclockwise direction that time. And what it's doing is um, the carousel is bidirectional. So when you call for a tool, it calculates how many steps it is if it goes in a forward direction, how many steps it is if it goes backwards, and it always chooses the shortest path. So you can see it just went backwards. Um, and let's see, we'll do another tool change. And you'll see this time that it's not gonna bother spinning the spindle because it already knows that it's homed and it'll spin the carousel the other way. So I'm just gonna change back to the tool we had before. T5, here we go. And that's it. So everything's working and I think I can consider this project done for now. Hope you enjoyed it.